Hey guys, my name's Ann Conkley. I am a member of this group and so excited to be here. I'm the owner of Authentic Coaching and I am a certified nurse midwife and life coach uh, for women and nurses who are ready to cultivate an element of personal and professional freedom. So I'm so happy to be in this group. This is a great group and it's a really phenomenal community and I like the post. So Erin, thank you for having me and, uh, and it was so nice to speak with you. So Erin and I were talking a little bit about some of the tools um, that can be useful maybe to this group. And there are many tools that I use personally and also use with my clients. So happy to share those with you in the hopes that maybe it's useful for you too. So one of the things that I see um, is that I, um, I have many women who fit the bill of right strong women. They wear multiple hats. Um, they are wives and partners and daughters and short order cooks and they are house managers and full time business owners and they are employees and you know the list goes on and on in terms of the hats that we wear very often. So one of the things that I see with clients and I experience myself is sometimes that I get stuck in a pattern of overwhelm and sometimes I really feel overwhelmed by all the things that are running up here in my mind right. And it's like, I can't almost turn it off. And I don't know if you've ever been there, but sometimes this happens if I'm, you know, forget something at the store, or if I forget to do something for a client or, you know, the PTA meeting is and I can't get there and oh, I forgot, right? Our mind sometimes can really go into overdrive. And sometimes when we get into overdrive with these thoughts, then it can produce feelings like shame and guilt and anger and um, sadness and hopelessness, right? Like all these different feelings, right, can, can occur when we get into that cycle of overwhelm. And if you know anything about shame and guilt and all that, it's not a very fun place to be. So this is a three-step process that I think can be useful for you um, as you um, maybe consider if you're going through some of these, um, you know, patterns as well. So for many of my clients, I say the first step, honestly, is to just know that this is totally normal. Like we've been gifted and blessed with this very highly complex machine up here. It's called our mind. And it's so good at doing so many things. And sometimes it just gets a little bit overloaded and overwhelmed. It's okay. We have on average 70,000 thoughts every day. And so you can see that sometimes maybe one, two, three of those will come on like heavy cycle and heavy repeat in our brains. So it's normal, right? It's very normal to sometimes feel like we are in that you can't turn your brain off cycle or, you know, that feeling of overwhelm. So number one, no, it's normal. You're not alone. Yay. Number two, next step. Um, Sometimes if we can, um, if we understand that it's normal, then we can give ourselves the opportunity to say, oh, <laughs> I'm just humaning again. I'm just literally, this is what Glennon Doyle calls it, right? I'm just humaning, right? It's all a normal part of it. And so therefore, as if my best friend were going through this, I, I respond to myself the same way I would respond to him or her, which is to say, it's okay. Show yourself grace, compassion. It happens. No big deal, Right. So that's step number two. So number one, this is normal. Number two, can I show myself a little bit of self-compassion or grace and just say, okay, no big deal, right? MBD, this is what we say in my family. MBD, no big deal. Um, number three, if I start to look at it and say, oh, you know, it's really funny because, okay, I actually start to notice that I do this often. If I can develop my self-awareness and understand when I get into the particular pattern, so to speak, it actually becomes a tool that I can use down the road. So one thing I would ask you is to say, how many times a week do you notice that you're stuck in a pattern of overwhelm? How many times a week are those feelings queued up inside of you? Because if you can start to look at it, right? This is all from Peter Drucker. You can't manage what you don't measure, right? Um, so if we start to look at it and say, oh, well, wow, like five or six times this week, I actually found myself feeling really overwhelmed by all of these thoughts and not being able to turn it off. If I can acknowledge it and say, oh, okay, this is a pattern that I see, then I can start to see when I get into it, right? I can become more aware of when I enter into that pattern of overwhelm and when I'm just normally sitting here feeling good and great and not experiencing any of those things. So then that fourth piece is that when I develop self-awareness around the fact that I enter into that pattern, the fourth piece of it is that actually I can make a choice. I can actually say, hmm, this pattern or uh, overwhelm of thought is either providing me with love, abundance, joy, appreciation, gratitude. It's providing me with ease and flow and simplicity in my life, or I can say it's not. 
And right there is the beauty because I can actually say, oh, hmm, well, maybe I'll just make a choice not to pay attention to it. Maybe I'll just make a choice to say, hmm, I'm gonna thought, I'm gonna stop, drop, and let that go. Right? Remembering that I have a choice throughout the whole thing to say, oh, actually, I don't have to sit in overwhelm. My mind's in overwhelm. My body is calm. My body is safe. My body is grounded. Right? My mind is somewhere else. So I can choose to engage in that or I can just say, okay. Let me look at the thoughts and the, all the overwhelm, or maybe just let me come back and just say, oh, I'm just not even going to entertain that whole thought. Why? Because it's not serving me. And actually, I'm pretty safe right here where I am, feeling grounded with my bottom in the chair, right? With my lipstick on, right? Those are things that I can feel. So, um, so to recap, all right, this is normal, number one. Number two, can I show myself a little bit of love and just say, it's okay. It's all right. This happens. Treat myself like I would treat my best friend. Number three, can I actually develop the self-awareness about how many times does this happen to me a week? Hmm. What are the things that I usually feel? Tightness in my chest or, um, you know, moments of feeling like flutters or feeling like um, my throat gets really tight or feeling like my shoulders really clench up, right? Starting to notice, developing that self-awareness about when I'm in that thought overwhelm pattern and when I'm not. And then number four, making a choice to say, oh, I can either engage in that or I can just come back to the present, which is that I'm sitting pretty safe. Nobody's melting down around me and I'm okay. So I hope that's useful to you. It's super useful to me, um, used it with many clients. And so hopefully it gives you an opportunity to pause, show yourself some grace, know that this is so normal and also make a choice on whether or not you engage in that pattern of thinking. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below if this was useful or if a question, if it comes up for you, happy to answer those as well. And Erin, um, uh, thanks again. It was a pleasure.